How can you harness your anger in a productive fashion? My name is Blaze Asayan and I help young men break bad habits, build confidence, and develop self-esteem. Today, I wanna to discuss how you can harness your anger and convert that into productive action. Right, a lot, I think a lot of people think about anger in a negative light, but I know so many people and I look up to so many people who harness their anger and use that as a driving force to gain success in life, to achieve their goals. That anger could come in many different forms. It could come from trying to prove someone wrong or come from you know, being so annoyed with who you are that you just get angry and take action and decide to change your life. In my life, I'll discuss how I used anger to become stronger, to step into my ultimate potential, right? I don't think anger over the long term is the right play, but it can be a catalyst for change. So I don't think that it's a horrible thing. So a few years ago, I was going nowhere in life, doing nothing, messing around, uh, not being productive in any way. So at some point, I got so frustrated with myself seeing where I was at, the things I was doing in my life, and wanting to change for the better. I got so angry that I allowed myself to go down the hole that I went down, engaging in bad habits, being around the wrong people, doing things I knew I shouldn't have been doing. So I got angry. I got mad at myself started calling myself a bum, told myself that I needed to get up and start doing things that are more productive that are gonna get me to where I wanna go. Because I've always had these big dreams, I always talked about how, how big I want my life to be, how extravagant I wanted it to be, but I wasn't doing the things to get, my, get me there. So I upended my life completely through sheer anger, through force of will, I dropped all the things that I was doing, and I decided to embark on a new journey in life. I got angry, started going to the gym, lifting weights every single day, angrily, trying to you know, rid myself of all the toxicity that I took in for years, all the wrongdoings, all the things that I wasn't proud of myself for. And through that process of getting angry and upending my life, I discovered that I am much more powerful than I thought I was, right? I, I felt weak for not doing the things I knew I should have been doing, for letting myself succumb to you know, my basis impulses, letting myself get controlled by outside forces. So... I think being able to harness that power within myself to take control of myself ultimately is what made me a more confident person, right? And I think that if you are frustrated with your position right now, you're angry, that is the best emotion you can be feeling because that means that you want something to be different and you are on the verge of making the changes in your life that need to be made to get to where you want to go. So don't view anger as this thing like, I'm angry, I'm just going to be angry all the time at everyone and continue doing things that you know you shouldn't be doing or continue to let that anger consume you in a negative fashion. Harness your anger and utilize it to propel you forward in life. Someone who I know, who I've looked up to for a long time, I don't know him personally, Alex Hormozzi, he's gotten huge in the online business world, the marketing world, and I remember listening to a story of his, of him talking about his anger toward his father, and how that anger drove him to become the entrepreneur that he is today, worth nine figures at age 30, right? He harnessed that anger 
and got so angry because he was doing things that other people told him to do. He wasn't living his dream. He got so angry, he decided to take such massive action, which allowed him to turn into the person that he is today. So anger is a very powerful weapon, my friend. It all just depends on how you use it. Are you going to let your anger turn into frustration and harm toward yourself or others? Or are you going to utilize that anger to start doing things in a way that you've never done them before? You start just taking such massive actions. You don't rest. You say to yourself, no, I got to do this. I got to, I got to push. I got to hustle all the time. That's a good use of anger. In my life, my life changed when I got just so angry one day. And I said, you know what? I'm sick and tired of where I am. If you're feeling that way, let me tell you, there is a way out. You just have to make a split decision. One day, a couple of years ago, I just made the split decision after looking myself in the mirror and saying, you got to, you got to improve. I made that decision and I never looked back. And now it's been almost two years of continuously improving myself and working on myself, turning myself into the person that I want to become. Now I'm not there yet. I'm 20. Got a lot of got a lot of time to play with. Hopefully. God forbid, you know, I hope nothing happens, but right now, theoretically, I have a lot of time to play with in my life. So I still have this massive sense of urgency, but I still know that I have time and I'm working every single day to become the ultimate version of myself, to step into my ultimate potential. And I'm not going to stop until, you know, the day I die. That's just, that's just me. I just got that hustle in me. Never going to retire. Never going to, you know, take it easy. I don't really like taking it easy now because I created this thing in my mind where if I'm not doing something that's productive or if something doesn't fit with my life's agenda, it doesn't belong there. So... Again, just to reemphasize the whole point of this video, if you're an angry person right now, you're angry at your circumstances, you're in a very powerful position, remember, your anger can either be harnessed for good or for bad. If you can harness it for good, your life is going to change forever. I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment below. Let me know what else you'd like to hear from me. If you'd like to learn more about what I do at the Discipline Institute, which I started this year, which helps young men break bad habits, build confidence, and develop self-esteem, you can click the link in my bio, in the description as well. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you see my passion to help people. I really want to help people, but I got to be blunt sometimes because I was blunt with myself and that's how I allowed myself to change. So again, I want to thank you for watching today and I will see you in the next one.